I'm going to try and say Revzy. Because <laughs> apparently that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this is rank 1 against rank 2 at the moment in the 1v1 ladder. Monkey Moon is rank 1, Revzy is rank 2. Revzy told me uh, when I asked him if he wanted to play this matchup, the first thing he said is, sure, um, but I hate playing against Monkey Moon. So he, you know, he's not entirely looking forward to this match. He told me also he loves, he does love a challenge. So he's well up for it. But does that mean that Monkey Moon goes into this one as the favorite? I think it does, not just because Revzy has told me pre-match that he doesn't enjoy playing against Thanks Monkey. Do you have but also because Monkey's got a lot more experience on stream. And he's, of course, a pretty insane player. Somebody asked me at the start of the stream today, why was uh, Monkey Moon not in the qualifier for the EU Salt Mine? And the reason for that is because he had a scheduling conflict. He wouldn't have been able to play in the actual Salt Mine League play. He just wasn't available. So obviously he didn't play the qualifier as a result of that. Um, but of course he would have been in there if he wanted to be, if he was available. Because Monkey Moon is absolutely one of the top ones players in the region. He sent that flip reset off the bar though. It should be 1-0 for Revzy, he puts it in, and that could have been a very special opening for Monkey Moon instead. It's a 1-0 deficit after a counter attack. Thanks by the way to uh, HiHack for the 4 month prime, appreciate you man. Rike with the 21 month tier 1, thoughts and flakes to Barca, that's pretty hype. Not gonna lie, pretty hype uh, signing for both flakes and Barca. I think they should do well. Uh, DK Ice thanks to the 22 month tier 1, Zero Dino thanks to the 16 month prime, and TPK Proof Frog thanks to the 19 month prime. Um, do I have a favourite traditional Scottish or Irish song? Not really. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I do. Sorry, that's a really boring answer. But I don't think I do. Monkey Moon losing a lot of power in that shot, but it's still enough to get past. Revzy was out of boost. And that will be. Pretty early equalizer. Game sound too loud. Can we get ones in chat if you think the game sound is too loud? I can put it down a bit if you all agree with uh, Violet here. Yeah, I guess two if it isn't. Um, I mean, we usually have it this loud. It's usually the same. The only difference might be that my voice is maybe a bit quieter today because I'm, I'm going easy on myself with a cold. I don't want to completely destroy my vocal cords early on in this one. Decent pre-jump save attempt by Revzy, but he's in a world of trouble here. And he's down 3-1. Couple of powerful kickoffs from Monkey have given him a strong lead. So loud. I think it's probably fine. I mean, I can hear in my ears what you guys... Well, pretty much the same as what you guys hear. Or is it? Maybe you guys hear a more quiet game sound. I'm not sure. But yeah. It should be okay. Oh, Revzy's in, in a lot of trouble here again. And I wonder what went wrong here. Because this didn't look like too disastrous of a position for him. He just understeered. A massive understeer from Revzy. As he was trying to recover and make a second hit on the ball. And that's caused him to go down 4-1. I'm starting to see a pattern here. of Monkey Moon dominating kickoffs. Or at least not giving Revzy any really good ones himself. And I wonder if that's why Revzy doesn't like playing against him. We'll have to wait and see if that's a continual, continual trend throughout this one. I like this from Revzy, though. That's an old classic. A little cut-in feel followed by the backflip pop and gets back within a second goal. Monkey Moon not on the goal line for that save. Limited the time he had to react to it. Now, he's been a bit careless giving the ball away. You can see that these, these two players definitely pressuring each other significant amount. They're not wanting to waste any time on the ball. That's a big interception by Monkey. Hard read on the clear. And he was already in position for it. See that? He's just thinking about whether or not that could be a thing that's coming his way. But you'll also notice that Monkey didn't commit too early for that ball. And that's actually good for two reasons. Number one, Revzy doesn't see it coming until later on. And number two, He's in a better position should Revzy in fact go for an infield play. Monkey is not overextending there by any means. He is here though. And that's a two goal deficit again. Revzy's clawing back every time that Monkey makes it three. And uh, Monkey Moon does need to be a bit careful. He's been counter attacked a few times now in this game. 
Is Ghost in a position to be a top team now that they picked up first killer? I would say so, yeah. I think that they're a very, very mechanically gifted team. Nice timing by Revzy. Monkey Moon was in a really bad position to defend this dribble. He's on the wrong side to Shadow, and I think he realized that. Tried to make a dive in play. Just hope for the best, but Revzy's ready for him. Spaced him well and popped it over him. One goal game, two minutes and 12 left. Monkey Moon still. Pilot on the pressure with the kickoffs. It's a really good save though by Revzy. Managing to get the ball well clear, Danger. Back so much so that he is now in control. Bit of understeer on that turn. Might undo that fact though. It's not the first time this game that we've seen understeer cause problems for Revzy. Monkey Moon dives over to the right hand side of the field. Good, good job noticing the space that he had over there. Revzy is shadowing in the correct side. Gets a good save. Monkey Moon. It's like all the best 1v1 players these days. Very happy to dribble the ball back into his own half. This is something that has come in and out of the meta ever since 1v1 became popular. Very early days of Rocket League. Monkey Moon just trying to keep the ball in Revzy's half. Trying to keep Revzy low on boost. Revzy's managed to micro his way towards. One in the corner. Now he accelerates with a boost seal. Minute and 10 left. Monkey Moon is on the ropes here. He's done well with his boost management, it would seem. This is uncomfortable. There's no doubt about that. Tense game. Tense ending to the game. Monkey Moon's game plan is plain to see. He is just going for a bit of time wasting, but not without pressuring the ball. He's not time wasting by just defending non-stop. He's trying to apply pressure. Revs, he needs to do better with his shooting. Now, direct dribble. Left a lot to be desired. Monkey Moon gets the ball without too much difficulty. It's not a good bounce for him, though. It kicks off the wall. I wonder if he wanted the air dribble there. It's a decent way to waste time, the air dribble, especially with how good Monkey Moon's recoveries are. But Revzy again getting shut down on the dribble. This worked earlier on in the game for him because he had Monkey Moon wrong footed, but both the last times he's tried it, Monkey Moon has been completely between him and the near post. Now with 10 seconds left, it's still a one goal game and Revzy's got no way through. He's trying the ground game every time. He's trying to dribble Monkey Moon. Monkey Moon knows it's coming, stops it from happening and wins the game with a boomer. 6-4 into the top corner. Monkey Moon takes game number one. Not too many problems for Revzy in game one, but unfortunately for him, the problems that he is having can be quite difficult to fix. Number one, kickoffs have been overall going in Monkey Moon's favor. Well, there's your answer to that one already. And number two, Monkey Moon has been pretty easily saving the majority of Revzy's dribbles, and if Revzy can't mix up his attack, if he can't elevate the quality of his shots, Monkey Moon's gonna continue to take the ball without too much difficulty, turn it into his possession. Pre-jump from Revzy, Monkey Moon reacts with a low 50-50, but Revzy comes out on top, and that is one of the biggest plays we've seen from him today. What a read, he's already up in the air. A brilliant recovery. Good 50-50 mid-air as well. Oh, you just sent me a replay? Okay, Mechanics, I'm gonna do two replay reviews after this. I'll see out of all the people who messaged me which two of them are, in the, uh, are highest in the list. Um, but yeah, either way, good thing you sent me the right replay, because we'll probably be doing that one pretty soon. Safe play from Revzy. Knew the demo was incoming. He used a lot of boost for, I would call, a failed air dribble, and luckily for him, Monkey Moon did not punish on the counter attack. A couple of mistakes there from both players, heavy touches, and a boost miss as well. Well, there's small margins for error here. And this is what is causing both players to make these mistakes at high speed. Revzy gets a save on it. Another relatively slow air dribble. This time Monkey Moon the culprit. A minute into the game. Revzy looking for the direct dribbles again. It looks like when Monkey Moon can get goal side of those, he is very comfortable saving them. Revzy gets past him though. And that is a cracking shot almost in off the back wall. No time wasted on that one. And you know, he's definitely showing signs of popping off here in game two. 
Psionics, please, he must be saying. And that ball bounces back out off the post, Monkeyman. Still. Down by one here. Glad to have caught the stream. Are you going to Leipzig anytime soon? Um, I don't know if I'm going to Leipzig anytime soon. I mean, is there a Dream Mac in Leipzig this year? I imagine that there is, but I also imagine there's no Rocket League event at it, or it would have been announced already. I don't know if uh, Dream Mac are playing any Rocket League events this year. Um, but, I, yeah, I suppose I'm not going to Leipzig anytime soon, because, what, Dream Mac Leipzig's uh, in February, isn't it? A great pass from Monkeyman to himself. Revzy stands in the way of it at the near post, though. That's a really good counter attack as well. What a shot by Revzy! Now that is very well played. Half flipping onto the boost after getting a keen save at the far post, I think it was. I think I said near initially, it was the far one. And he smashes in the wall shot. 3 1. Definitely a better showing thus far. From Revzy, Monkey Moon's missed a boost here, that just isn't good enough. Revzy tries to dive in and punish, but Monkey Moon recovers well. And it's a 50-50 goal for him. Revzy got one of these earlier. So the two players collided midair. Now it's Monkey Moon coming out on top. I thank you being too nosy for the 20 month prime, by the way, really appreciate it. Also Mad Dandy and uh, Casper Warmas. Sorry if I've said that wrong. Thank you for the brand new primes. And also Landmark RRL with the 11-month prime. Welcome back to you. Monkey Moon's in a good spot here. He's got the pick of the litter when it comes to opportunities. Decides to play for the boost seal because Revy did, Revy did close him down. Pretty early. Full reset. Outplay by Monkey Moon. And that's going to get him another boost seal. Can he turn it into a goal in reverse? Revzy's all over the place here, but has he done well? Managed to get that ball to just glue itself to the post. Made it impossible for Monkey Moon to score, but he always finds a way. Monkey Moon air dribbles over the top and just pitches it in off the far post. That's great placement. He barely avoided the bar there. And he squeezed it in for the equalizer. Minute and 58 left. Monkey Moon on the comeback trail and another strong kickoff. We'll have Revzy pretty worried. Monkey Moon brings it down. He's gone for the mind game. That would have been the second goal of the game, but he's gone low. Revzy just gets it wide. Monkey Moon's trying to pass to himself off the side wall again. Revzy needs to be careful. He is careful. And he's done well again. Look at this defending. Every time keeping that ball as close to the wall as he can. But Monkey Moon's running rings around him. You know, credit to Revzy for making Monkey Moon take that extra shot. But boy, does Monkey Moon know how to follow up one good shot with another. Very nice ground play. And the mind games look like they're going in Monkey Moon's favourite overall. Pre-flip from Revzy does not get him a boost advantage, but Monkey Moon gives him the ball right back. A bit of a tussle. One by Monkey Moon. As the two players dart into the orange corner, Revzy's committed for the demo attempt. Hope not got it. Now he's completely boost starved. And Monkey Moon's bumped him out of the way here. Luckily for Revzy, he recovered pretty well. First touch, not the best for Monkey Moon. Uh, Tim Glutrout, thanks for three months. Tier 1, 4 total. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm, yeah, I've been better, but I'm doing all right, man. Thanks for asking. Daily Dog, and thanks for the tier, uh, the two month, I should say. Twitch Prime. Good speed there by Monkey. Fakes one shot, gets down to the ground and back up into the air for the second one. And we've seen both sides of the coin here for Monkey Moon. He started strong in game one, turned it into a win. Started off game two. In nowhere near of a, as consistent of a manner. But he still managed to turn it around. 51 seconds to see if he can double up here in the series score. Time for Nate. Thank you for the two month Twitch Prime. And also, it's Suamadog. Sorry if I. Uh, if I said that wrong. Welcome to the stream, dude, to the prime. Another very direct dribble by Revzy. It's just giving away possession again. You'll notice that Monkey Moon on his shot, he did enough with it to force Revzy to concede possession while saving. Revzy's not done enough of that this series. That's been his biggest problem, in my opinion. There's been almost no consistent pressure. 
Monkey Moon is having a really easy time breaking out of his half. It's usually one shot for Revzy, two for Monkey. One shot for Revzy, then two for Monkey again. And Monkey Moon, really smart play at the end of the game here. He's drawing Revzy into the half. And how do you score from here? Against a player like Monkey Moon, you don't. 2 0. And that's just too good in terms of pressure by Monkey Moon. This is actually a pretty misleading stat line in the shots column. Because um, some of those sh shots, as they're being called for Revzy, I wouldn't really call shots. They're just kind of throwaways being sent on target for Monkey Moon to easily save. Um, but this could just be one more. One more game needed for Monkey Moon. Can Revzy figure it out? I want to see more patient play from him in offense. That's, I think, the number one way to elevate his game. That's not a bad pinch shot attempt. A bit high, a bit wide, but Monkey Moon was caught off guard by it. Here comes Monkey Moon. Slow air dribble. Too slow. Revzy's all over it. And he's up by one to kick off game three. Say so stealth on food. Thanks to the four-month prime man. Welcome back to the stream. You gotta remember guys, this is still only Revzy's second show match appearance after a good debut against Speed. Monkey Moon has played several. He's played against a lot of the top players in the world. Scrub, Ixo, Fairy. He's taking them all on. But uh, yeah, Revzy's definitely not on the same level when it comes to experience, and that mid-series adaptation is something that comes with experience. We saw it in the second game there from Monkey. He's down a couple of goals. He adapts, gets the lead. And we'll have to see now if he can do that again, because Revzy's up by two, exactly as he was in the last game. Monkey made threatening with the side flip shot. And it's actually Revzy panicking. Although Monkey's got no boost, the presence of his just dark blue car is menacing. That's a beautiful flick from Monkey Moon. The control to just guide this one into the top shelf of the goal. That is something to behold. Just nicked it over Revzy here. Yeah, he just clipped it with the front end of the car a couple times. You know, that's what I was referring to earlier. It's that class from Monkey, which he's showing every now and then. And here it is. Once more. Just a more difficult offensive repertoire to, to defend against. You'll notice, actually, that many of Revzy's goals in every game this series have been counterattacks. Monkey Moon is trying to mix up his offense a lot more than Revzy is. He's trying to keep Revzy guessing. He's also more willing to take a risk in offense, it would seem. You know, it's gotten scored on a few times, but it's causing a lot of pressure as well. Revzy knows every time the monkey's on the ball that something special could be coming his way. It's causing him to panic. It's causing him to misplay in defense. And once again, Revzy gives away the ball without doing too much with it. Monkey Moon has to concede possession. Didn't time his boost pickup to perfection. I don't think he had a choice, though. If he waited any longer, Revzy might have just taken the ball. And that's actually fortunate for Monkey Moon. Revzy had the ball past him, I think. Monkey Moon's bumped Revzy into it midair. That's what's that, you know, one of the risks you run when you double jump pop the ball. You are then in the firing line. Monkey Moon did a really nice half flip there, but Revzy's caught him out in the landing. With half the game to go, he decides it's time to up the ante in offense. Rebound, saved, but the second one's not. And that is exactly what I want to see from Revzy. He's got Monkey Moon on the ropes there. He's got Monkey Moon panic jumping because he attacked that ball early. He just read the bounce perfectly. He decided he needs to apply some pressure. Can he keep that up? Can he do so without making any mistakes? One goal lead at the moment. It's unlikely to catch Monkey Moon out in positions like this. Well, pinch clear by Monkey Moon. The man is trying to make a name for himself in threes as well as ones these days. Certainly one for the future, in my opinion, if he keeps grinding, if he, if he continues that 
work ethic. Monkey Moon sends another flick on target, but Revzy saved it. And he's going to get another counter attack goal. So Monkey Moon is getting punished. Just like in the other games in this series. We're going a bit too hard in offense. So the placement wasn't good enough there. Yeah, good power on the flick, but the placement was such that Revzy could save it while also clearing the ball. And not only that, while landing in the general direction it was headed. Monkey Moon down by two. Less than two minutes remaining. Revzy's trying to up the pressure. He's trying to stay in Monkey Moon's face. Doesn't want to give him any unnecessary time on the ball, but Monkey Moon's got some here. Revzy takes it away from him. And he's jumped over the bump from behind as well. Monkey Moon. Always the favorite to save that kind of shot. And that's just careless for Revzy. You can't shoot far post against someone like Monkey Moon. His shadow saves are just too good. He's not going to mess that one up. He's not going to mess up the landing. You know, both players have made that mistake in shooting far post. Although it can look tempting, that big top corner staring at you. you just got to remember the speed of these guys to get across the goal is too much as Monkey Moon just walks the ball into the goal again. He's done this so many times this game. Just walked it past Revzy. And that just shows how much of you know, how much of a talented dribbler Monkey Moon is. Revzy with a really important save there. Just recovered in the nick of time and he smashes a wall shot into the post so close. Rebounds on target but Monkey Moon has saved it off his own post and now he's going down the middle. This is end-to-end -end stuff at the end of the game. And these shots are not the timid ones that I've been criticizing today. Monkey Moon just gets in the way of that one. 40 seconds left. Monkey Moon shoots wide. And now with 35 seconds left, we still have a tie game. Monkey Moon backed up into a card, but Revzy's missed the open net. You know, he didn't have a lot of time to put that on target. It wasn't the easiest of angles, but he needs to score goals like that. He's not going to get a better opportunity this game. Or is he? Ten seconds left. Monkey Moon on the sidewall. He's put himself in an awkward position here, but he recovers well. Revzy staying with it. He wants the last chance before zero seconds, but he's not got enough boost to get under the ball. Overtime game three. Monkey Moon just needs one more win here. Revzy needs all three in the best of five. Kickoff win for Revzy. He starts off the game. He's going for the air dribble bump. And he gets it, but Monkey Moon somehow get that one out. What a goal by Revzy in the end. But how did Monkey Moon save this initially? Oh, wow. Either Monkey Moon bounced off the bar and into the ball there, or he managed to jump out of it. Either way, well saved. But Revzy's recovery was on point, and I love that from Revzy. He's not playing basic in overtime. He's actually gone for something that, yes, it could go wrong, but he made it work. And it's that kind of risk-taking that I think he needs to do more often just to keep Monkey guessing, to get Monkey more worried. Yeah, I don't know how Monkey would save that. That was pretty insane. I didn't hear a jump, or I didn't hear a dodge from him. And I don't know if he even had one. So what I think happened is that he got bumped into the crossbar, bounced off the bar, and then into the ball. Or something like that. NRG back-to-back -back RLCS champs calling it now. All right, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? I mean, it takes something special uh, to win a world championship in Rocket League and then keep on grinding like you still haven't won a world championship. We'll see if uh, NRG have got that desire, if they've got that, you know, willingness to stay on the grind, to try and stay on, stay on top, be the best team in the world. I think they probably do, but time will tell. And yeah, it's going to be a difficult uh, task to win two in a row anyway. It's not like they're the only insane team in the world right now. Oh, Revzy has gone and scored the best goal of the series to kick off game four. What a shot. Top corner flick. 
out of the reset. From a good bit out of the goal as well. Perfect placement. Perfect power. And Monkey Moon might be in trouble. You'll, you'll notice that most of the series I've been criticizing Revzy for not taking risks, for being too simple in offense, too easily readable. But he finished off game three with something that is notoriously difficult to defend against the air dribble bump. It's risky, but it's hard to defend. And now he started off game four with a very similar sort of goal. Not similar in appearance, but in style. Thanks for speaking about your comment. I hey, no worries, man. I try to read a uh, Twitch chat every now and then, if I can. Um, RL Maniac, thanks to the Prime sub, by the way. That was the end of the last game when things were getting heated. I really appreciate it. A little bit of a mind game win there for Monkey Moon. It's not the most pretty of mind games, but still. One nonetheless, because he does fade away from that challenge at the exact right time. It's pretty much a win-win situation there for Monkey Moon when he decides not to flip into that ball because there is a chance that Revzy just glances, glancing blows it and misses it. Or misses the solid contact and then Monkey Moon can just score. But even if Revzy does get a solid contact, Monkey Moon's goal side so he's totally fine. Oh, that's amazing. Look at this from Revzy though. And you know, this is probably more of what he's used to doing. How has he got that much height on the flick? Oh my days. To get that much sudden height on the ball with really not that much movement in the car. Seriously impressive stuff. And Revzy's bringing his A game in the close of this series. He's actually had the two goal lead in all of the last three games. Game two, he couldn't hold on to it. Game three, he did. Well, actually, he couldn't. He had to go and get it back after Monkey Moon equalized. But Revzy is bringing his best at the very end here. And Monkey Moon is starting to feel the pressure. This is what I talked about. You know, you can't beat Monkey Moon with simple offense. You can't beat him with just some decent shots to the far post top corner. You're not going to beat him with direct dribbling plays that he's going to read every day of the week. You need to get him out of his comfort zone because he's one of the most comfortable shadow defenders in the world. Revzy's done that so far in game four. The monkey is still deadly. You need to be it's careful. Been a serious minute. Glad to catch you, live my boy. Here to Boggin. Thanks for the 17 month Prime man. It's good to have you here. Good to be streaming again after uh, time off at Christmas and New Year. So another two goal lead in Revzy's favor. Convincing fake challenges from the boy in black here. He's done well to force Monkey Moon's hand. And again, he's just staying nice and close to the ball. He knows that Monkey Moon has no boost here. Nothing much to be afraid of. And he's got a great line of attack, which he scores out of. And Revzy is taking control here. This is a very legitimate comeback in the series. We're not seeing anywhere near as many predictable plays in offense from him. And we're not seeing the composure and the class from Monkey Moon that we saw earlier. He, he seemed to be one step ahead in every mind game. But that's no longer the case because he's been rattled by Revzy. And the resurgence that is currently happening. Lamp face, thanks to the brand new tier one dude. Welcome to the stream. Uh, that is a shot that's unlikely to work against Monkey Man. Oh, he's gonna got the boost seal though. Revzy pre-flips to get the outplay. And oh, he has to put that in. Oh, he's missed the open net. That is just devastating. After pre-flip flicking the ball over Monkey, you really wanted to see him score that one. It was such a great setup. He's done well with the pre-jump and defense. Clearly not too tilted by the mess up at the other end of the field. Monkeyman's air dribble defense continues to impress. 5-2. Still, Revzy looking good. Monkeyman's not getting to see a lot of the ball here. And it's all down to Revzy. Just increasing the quality of his shots. He's made it significantly harder 
for Monkey Moon to get a save and then start dribbling, which is what we saw in games one and two. Just a whole load of Monkey Moon saves, followed by Monkey Moon dribbling plays. That's not been the case in game four here. It's been all Revzy. And actually, at the other end of the field, Monkey Moon's fallen into the exact same trap that Revzy was in for games one and two. He just, he's stuck in a straight line. He can't stop dribbling directly at Revzy, who is challenging early every single time. And he, he's just crushing Monkey Moon's dribbles in game four. Rob Lobster, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the stream, man. We are absolutely going to see a game five here in a series that looked set to be a sweep not any more than five minutes ago. I wonder if Monkey Moon is going to have an answer to this. Because he looks hard countered right now. He's playing patiently on every single play. And this nice one, I wonder if that is a serious nice one. I mean, it was a really nice challenge. See what Revzy does there. Is he fakes a challenge, gets into the blind spot behind the ball, and then reverses into an actual challenge. Because obviously the, the first challenge was in plain sight. That's why he faked it. Monkey Moon could see it. Second one, completely blindsided by the ball, and Revzy just goes for it. Monkey Moon says, nice one. I don't know if he's uh, if he's serious or sarcastic there. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But it could be the amalgamation of all these rush challenges. Frustrating Monkey Moon. He's thinking, are you going to stop ball chasing? Are you going to stop diving in for the ball? Well, the answer to that, Monkey Moon, is no, he's not. Until you start moving it earlier. When Monkey Moon starts flicking the ball high up in the air from his own half, then Revzy's going to think twice about challenging early. When Monkey Moon starts shooting from his own half, Revzy's going to think twice about challenging early. But until either of these things happen, he is going to keep on challenging every single ball because Monkey Moon is not adapting. He's slow playing every offensive play. But he's off to a good start in game five. Panic play from Revzy after the kickoff gave Monkey Moon the easy shot. Well, I should say uncontested shot. It wasn't easy to be that top corner. That's exactly what he did. 1-0. Ace match between Revzy and Monkey Moon. Definitely appropriate considering that they are almost inseparable at the top of the ranked ones leaderboard. And Revzy bangs in another goal. This after a failed bump from Monkey Moon. He was wanting the demo on the sidewall there. Hard to hit and... You know, if you do miss that, your recovery time has been significantly in increased and a lot of the time you are just going to get scored on. Monkey Moon doesn't have his flip yet. He doesn't need it, he thinks. Revzy gets one save, can't get another one. And Monkey Moon's ahead by one goal again. Hey, Kelly, it's actually three month prime. Welcome back to the stream, man. Have I had Mile on stream yet? No, I don't know who Mile is, sorry. Mile. Please don't tell me it's Millie or Mele. Everybody's always telling me I'm mispronouncing their names these days because they, they went and spelled their name wrong when they made it. They're like, oh yeah, I, I spelled my name like this, but you actually say it like this. My bad. Miley. <laughs> yeah, I bet, it's, I bet it's not Mile. I bet it's anything but Mile if it's spelled M-I-L-E. Revzy. Back in counter-attacking mode. Monkey Moon, very low on boost, definitely helps Revzy's cause, but Revzy needs to shoot higher there, I think. Any low shot is just too easy for Monkey Moon to reach. Monkey Moon, meanwhile, not taking the biggest or the fastest run up to his hook shot. He's just giving it away to Revzy, who gives it right back there. Definitely playing a very safe game in game five. Air dribble defense on point, what a landing by Revzy. Needed the two touches there to get the save, but he's done exactly that. He brings the ball down, flicks it into the air. Now it's that kind of flick that I was talking about. That's the sort of flick that makes your opponent think about stopping their early challenge meta. Just getting a nice early flick on the ball. And it's backed up Monkey Moon. He doesn't want to move in early now. He saw Revzy make an early play on that one. He thinks, okay, he might be making an early play again. I better wait. Nah, joke's on you. This time, he is going to wait until the very last moment before pulling the trigger. 
Miley's rank 6 and 8 right now, he's recent. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I see, I see. I'll have to make some inquiries about Mile. Monkey Moon's had a lot of success with those winding dribbles today on the ground. And that one was one of his least successful yet. And the ceiling shot is even worse. Revzy ahead by two for the fourth game in a row. Can he win a third game in a row? I did uh, not expect this when Monkey Moon went comfortably ahead 2-0. I thought Revzy might be done with. He just didn't have enough creativity in offense. He didn't have enough boldness in offense, but credit to him. He's definitely stepped up to the challenge so far. He's got a long way to go and these kickoffs are not helping his cause. Monkey Moon ties up the game. And will Revzy be regretting scoring that long range fourth goal because afterwards he's had an absolute howler of a time with Monkey Moon's kickoffs. Look at this, it's Monkey Moon again dominating. And that might be 5-4, it is! And wow, how quickly a series can turn around. Where's Revzy from? He's from England. And he's having about as much success as the English national football team would against France right now, because that is just... Is that fourth goal in a row now on a kickoff? It is. That is unreal. Revzy's kickoff has completely fallen to pieces. And you know, he's not got much luck either. That bounce doesn't favor him well. Monkey Moon. From a two goal deficit to a two goal lead in I think 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. It's crazy turnaround there. Credit to Monkey Moon, he played absolutely solid in the mechanics aspect of the kickoff. He just set a exact read on what Revzy was doing, it would seem. Lamau not nice, hey, you, got, you have to give me one little jab at the English football team every now and then being from Scotland uh, we don't get any success at all sometimes we get a throw in in the other team's half that's like cause for national celebration we make that day the, uh, the next year a holiday um, it's called throw in day but um, yeah we, we, we have to try and bring all of the other teams down with us because we're that bad, so forgive me. Mr. Sweetie, thanks for the 11 month tier one. Appreciate it, man. Monkey Moon's hanging on here. Revzy's trying to fight back, but he's got a goal from midfield play. It's not all about the kickoffs. It's not only from the center circle, but every time that the ball goes back to the center circle, you can bet Revzy's worried about it. Given how badly he's done in that position the latter half of this game he's only got a minute and 15 seconds to close this gap and he, unfortunately for him he's gone back to the type of attacks that were failing for him in games one and two these dribbling plays that are standard like 2018 kind of plays monkey moon eats those alive he just doesn't concede those but I do wonder if it's just the the game getting to him at this point. I mean, Revzy knows he was ahead. And then kickoffs crushed him. It's really hard in that situation to keep your head in the game and to keep thinking, okay, how do I actually come back from here? How do I win? What do I do? You kind of go into autopilot. And it looks like that's what he's done. He was doing really well in games three and four. He was thinking actively about how to counter what Monkey Moon's doing. Really nice center ball here. And a dunk from Revzy. And he's not done yet. Sixth goal comes in, and it's one of his best ones of the whole series. One of the best ones either of these guys has scored all series. Brilliant mid-air collision by Revzy, but really, can he come back with kickoffs going so, so poorly for him in this last game? It doesn't look like he can. He's been forced to score an own goal, and it's just all gone wrong. I think this is a lesson in... I would say in focus for Revzy because he's kind of autopiloted this game for large parts of it after it started going wrong 
it looks like he's maybe thinking a bit about what's happened what uh, you know in the past he's thinking oh man I've just conceded four kickoff goals or I'd be winning here instead of thinking about what he's doing right now and what he needs to do in the 32 seconds that are left that's a lot better though quick counter and he's still in with a small chance he's still got a glimmer of hope but yeah the kickoff hasn't been mixed up by him as well he needs to I think fake some kickoffs, delay some kickoffs in the future. If, if things go this poorly, that's a really good rebound attempt by Monkeyman. Revs, he needs that boost to spawn. It does. And he needs to go up in the air right now to win this, I think. Oh, okay. Now we're thinking outside the box. I was fully expecting an air dribble bump here. It looks like Monkeyman was as well, but Revzy stays low and goes under him because obviously Monkeyman diving off the crossbar there would have made sense against an air dribble bump and I think that's what you would have expected I, I mean I did as well so really smart play there by Revzy to go against the grain at the end of the game there fortunately for him he's just left himself with way too much to do in too little time and at the end of the day it's Monkey Moon who takes the win great series between these two really interesting back and forth but yeah the experience shone through Monkey Moon just he knew how to dig in. He never gave up when he was behind. For, I think, four games in a row there, he was behind, and he kept on coming back every single time. Revzy, meanwhile, yeah, when, when things start going completely wrong, he needs a better get-out-of-jail free card, it would seem. He just didn't have anything to to fall back on there. Hey, tired, tired Lines, thanks for the two-year Tier 1 sub. I really appreciate that, man. Far too kind.